Hey guys, what is up? It is Mickey back again with a video on how to create a zombie fighter game. This one's gonna be quite interesting, so stay around for part two. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is name our program Zombie Fighter. Then we're gonna click on the cat's information or the I button, and we're gonna name it. We are going to name it the Spy because our Spy is gonna be our main character. And then next we're gonna, um, I'm gonna actually draw our spy and I'm gonna draw a facing right image, facing left image, facing down and facing forward. But let's start off with just the basics. So I'm gonna fast forward this because art does take me a while. And if you guys want a tutorial on this, I can possibly do that in part two. But yeah, this is just gonna be um, sped up. So here I'm creating the um, right way and as you can see I go through a lot of phases in my art I especially if I don't like something I definitely change it because um, I think arts really important in a game and although a lot of people say and I agree with them that coding is more important I do love to take time with my art so it seems like we have a good head here um, we're gonna make this guy look right um, and actually before we do that we're gonna add a body so here I'm adding a body, which is what you're always gonna need. Um, obviously you're gonna need the other part of a body. As you can see here, I try to make it as perfect as possible. And I even refer to a Google image for the spy. So here I'm drawing a tie and it didn't come out too well, but uh, you know, we're gonna have to change some things and we're gonna add the suit part. So there's the suit. Uh, we're gonna fill in gray and white. Uh, we're gonna make the suit black. I was thinking about adding a belt, but I decided not to. And then the next step is simply to make him face right and left. So we're gonna draw a little eye there. And we're gonna name them left and right. And we're actually gonna add the bottom ones here. So we're just gonna make our eye down. So I am uh, recording a voiceover and I do forget to do the up. So I'll get back to that. But yeah, here's the down. And as you can see, I tried this, I didn't like it, so I just sticked with the basic one. And I like to name my um, my art just so that it gets a lot easier. And I didn't like this either. So we have the right, left, and down images, and they seem pretty nice. We are going to now start coding. So we're gonna do one flag clicked forever. Um, we're gonna drag in an if. And this is just for the basic moving. I have done a more in-depth tutorial, so you can go ahead and check that in the description below. But here we can do, if the key right is pressed, we're just gonna change, um, actually we're gonna point in the direction of right. Um, oh, here I make the up, so when it's looking up. So what you wanna do is you wanna draw the back of the character's head. So in this case, it's just gonna be all white, and you're gonna wanna make the body solid color too. And if you can kind of see what I'm seeing, it looks like it's facing up. So then we're gonna drag in and move 10 steps and actually not 10, we're gonna make a new variable for that. It's gonna be called player speed. We're gonna set it here to eight and then we're just gonna drag in the little bubble to the move steps block. The next step is to change the look of the character. We're just gonna switch that to right. All right guys, so the next step is to duplicate this for the left, up, and down um, different sides. So we're gonna change the costume for all of them, the direction, and the key that is going to be pressed. So it's pretty straightforward, so yeah. So as you can see, it's uh, pretty nice. Uh, the character moves with the costume and it looks like an actual character. I do think that it's a little bit too big. So I'm gonna go ahead and just shrink the character a bit. Um, you guys should do it to how you like it, so to your liking, but I like it a little bit smaller relative to the screen. So I think that's about a good and nice um, size. The speed I'm gonna increase a bit. And I think this is how I'm gonna leave it. So. Obviously, you can change the player speed to anything you want. So if you want a really slow character or even a really fast character, that's possible too, just by the change of a single value. 
Um, now we're gonna go ahead and just create the bullet. So click new character or new sprite, name it bullet. Um, and as you can see here, I actually spend a lot of time trying to draw something. I go through a bunch of different stages. I don't like how it comes out, so I just stick to a, um, a line. But in my previous videos, I've done other things. So if you guys wanna do that, or if you guys just wanna stick with what I do, uh, you can do that as well. Um, but yeah, the costume is all up to what you like. So now we're gonna go into the actual scripts. In here, we are going to drag in a when flag is clicked. And then we're gonna drag in a forever. We're gonna create a variable for the player's direction so that the bullet knows when to go right, when to go left, when to go up, or when to go down. So we're gonna call it bla player dir, uh, which stands for player direction. We're gonna set the player direction to, um, not point and direction, but the variable direction. So as you, when, we, um, when we click the arrow keys, it changes our direction, so all we have to do is set a variable to that direction. Um, uh, we're gonna have to increase the bullet size, but we can't use that tool actually, so we're gonna have to script it a bit. So there's uh, uh, multiple ways to do this. One of the ways is to just click that button, but the other way is to go into the bullet sprite and actually set the percent of the size. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna actually go into the player's looks and set the, uh, the size to, 280 percent which is what it's at at that size so obviously i think that's nice and we're going to script the size for the bullet as well so we're going to do one flag clicked we're going to set the size to let's go ahead and make it four times as big so 100 times four is 400 so we're going to change that to 400 percent this will make the bullet relatively big but i think it's quite nice so in the forever, we're gonna go into point direction, and this is where the variable comes in play. So inside that little circle or oval, oval or whatever you wanna call it, we're just gonna put the variable right there. So now it's gonna be always pointing in direction of the player direction, but it's actually never gonna shoot. So we're gonna have to drag in an if. Um, as you can see, it moves with us. So this is just to test out the direction. But if we drag in, if we go into sensing and we drag in a when space is pressed, I think that's how we're gonna make it shoot. You guys can obviously make that whatever you want. Um, but when we do that, we're gonna do if key space is pressed, we're gonna create a clone of myself, well, also our bullet. And then in our bullet, we're going to actually show and we're gonna start off hide. This just makes it so that the actual sprite will hide and the clones will show your actually your actual bullets will show but the spawner if you want to call it will not so we're going to say go to spy because we want to go to our character in order to shoot and then we're going to drag in a repeat until so we're going to repeat until we are going to touch the edge or later on in part two we're going to make it so that if it's also touching the zombies we're gonna say, uh, repeat until touching edge. We're gonna move 10 steps. Obviously, this is also changeable, but right now I think it's pretty nice. Uh, the reason it's coming out in long lines is because I'm holding down the space bar, so you can try that. But if you do it separately, it comes out like how it, you would want it to come out. But, um, yeah, I think it's quite nice. I tried to do key space wet this thing but i i mean i don't really like it just because it it's really weird as you can see what's happening right here i mean it's shooting in both ways so i'm actually just gonna stick with what i was before um so we're gonna uh create clone of myself we're gonna put in the if and we're gonna put in the sensing of when it is uh touching um oh no sorry when the space bar is pressed we're going to create the clone of ourselves. So I think the bullet sprite is, um, it's pretty good now. It's working uh, pretty perfectly. And I'm gonna add in a wait uh, 0.1 seconds so that you don't get the long lines like I was saying before. And we're gonna actually add in a, another, um, another variable, which is gonna be reload time. So every time you shoot, there's gonna be a reload. So here I'm gonna set it to 
let's say 0.1 so that every time you shoot you have to wait 0.1 seconds before you shoot the next bullet so you can't have like a long dash that just makes the game more fair so that you can't just keep on holding down the bullet obviously we're gonna start off with something later um we're gonna later we're gonna start off with something at maybe like one and then as you get upgrades or as you kill zombies you're going to get to advance that um i mean lessen that number to something like point one where you can shoot faster maybe this is gonna have to do with guns but here i actually wanted to add a gun so i'm just gonna fast forward this because um yeah i go through multiple variations again with my art I think I'm pretty happy with this costume. So all I'm gonna do is duplicate it and then switch this one so that it's the um, right, uh, pointing right version. So now we have the left right here. Oh no, it's, um, we messed up with the costume names. So if we just change those, it's uh, pretty nice. Yeah, so we still have to do this for the down and up. Otherwise it wouldn't really make sense, uh, but I think the right and left look really nice. If you guys don't want to add in a gun, that's completely fine. You guys can just make it so that it's shooting out of his um, his body, which is what I do oftentimes. As you can see, it's kind of weird how the um, bullet is going through him and the gun. Like, why is it behind the gun? That's because we set the center wrong. So I'm actually going to fix that by trying to do a couple of things. So first of all, we're going to switch this so that... Um, we're gonna go to the spy first, but um, we're gonna show, sorry. And we're gonna add in a weight. Um, we're gonna move 10 steps, oh yeah, so that it it um, it skips the body into the gun. This part could be a little bit confusing, so that's why adding a gun is really not necessary. It's just a bunch of extra work. But here you can see, um, if you move 30 steps, now it won't show. So. I think that the right and left are good now, but as you can see, you can't really see where the bullet is shooting, right? It looks like it's shooting down from his body for the up and down certain costumes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add in a gun here, but we're gonna actually change the color of the gun to a nice gray. So it just matches with his tie, a little, um, a little combo with the tie and the gun. But here I'm gonna add the gun in his um, body. But as you can see, it's going into the lines and that's really weird. So I'm gonna center it a little bit better and then see if that fixes the problem. If not, we can use a line to erase it. If that makes any sense, it probably doesn't. Uh, but here we're adding the gun as you can see. And it goes into his part of his body, like I was saying. So we wanted to want to actually use a line to do this because what's happening is that the pixel is not small enough to fit in those certain blocks that actually doesn't work. So now we just have to fix the down face, but I think I'm actually just gonna draw a line down like I was or draw like part of the line. Yeah, like right here, that seems nice. And then that is where it's gonna shoot from. But you guys can do whatever you want. Again, um, I think the down, oh no, what did I do? This is really weird. Oh, I see. Okay, I think I changed the costume by accident. I'm not doing this on down, I was doing it on up. That's weird. Oh, okay, so now we have two guns on the up side, but, um, a little bit of troubleshooting. We're just gonna make that into black again. So we can just erase the bottom parts and then drag in a um, black brush and color in the bottom um, gun like that. And then again, we're gonna use the line to just erase that. Cause as you can see, it looks kind of weird. Um, so we're gonna use the eraser and here I try to cover it but that looks really weird 
So I'm just gonna erase it and then cover it with black so it's just how it was to normal. So that's a little bit of a mistake I made, but in the down section, then we're gonna add what I added before, which is kind of frustrating because I have to do this again, but it's fine. Um, so here I do it and that's what I had and I think it's pretty good. Oh wait, yeah, there. It seems quite nice, yeah. So I'm gonna add in the third one so that looks more like the bullet. That's it, all right. So this is, um, this is my final, I think. I think I don't have anything to change here. It's uh, really nice. Um, if you want, you can do anything. I think we're gonna color the bullet orange. And then in here, we're gonna change color effect by any number you want. I'm gonna probably start off with five so that it comes out with a rainbow effect. This is one of my favorite effects. So when you're shooting bullets, you can just do this. And I think it looks awesome. It just adds a little bit of color into his life. So <laughs> even though he's a spy, you know, you gotta add some rainbow. So, I think the change color by 25 is is nice. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna add the change color 25 only when he hits the space bar. So then it's more of a rainbow. I think 25 is a little bit too much, so I'm probably gonna reduce that so that there's more shades of red, more shades of blue, more shades of green, more shades of purple, you know. So we're gonna actually add a variable for the bullet speed. We're gonna change it, um, we're gonna move bullet speeds. Oh no, I put that in the wrong location. I'll fix that in a second. Um, so it's not gonna work here as you can see because it's behind. That's again, a little bit of a mistake I made. So I notice it here and I'm gonna move bullet steps here and I think I had a 40, no, it was 30. Oh, but that looks fine too. So, yeah, I think uh, we changed the bullet speed to higher because I think it looks nice as a faster bullet. But yeah, the shades of the rainbow look very nice. And uh, um, I said I'm gonna change it to a little bit lower. So I think I'm gonna change it by 10. Let's see how that looks. And then you can just mess around with all these variable numbers just to get your liking and exactly what you want. I think that's a little bit too low. Maybe I'll stick with it. Um, I'll see. But you can obviously change all these numbers to anything you want. Here I changed the 40 steps into, um, let's see, you can change it to 100 steps. That <laughs> That's really stupid. I just wanted to see what happened, but five steps wouldn't work. Oh no, this looks fine actually. So yeah, no, 30 steps is what I had before. We're gonna change the bullet speed to 15. So yeah, I'm just fidgeting with the numbers, messing them up and I'm gonna get it to what I like. So I'm actually gonna change the color effect by 25 again. Um, and I'm gonna change the bullet speed a little bit. Um, whoops. Uh, that's too slow. <laughs> that looks funny though. It looks nice. <laughs> that's really glitchy. But yeah, I'm not gonna keep it at five. I'm gonna keep it at the number I had before. Or you know what? Let's change it to, um, let's change it to 20. And yeah. Um, wait. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So. I think that's it for that for this episode. It was a pretty long episode. Sorry for that. It was a little bit confusing. If you were, please ask me a question in the comments below. Make sure to like this video. Share it with your friends. Again, comment what you thought about it. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.